niggas comparing Floyd Mayweather life versus motherfucking LeBron James life. Niggas see this shit. All right, we finna react to Floyd versus LeBron James. Y'all like Floyd versus LeBron James? What? How rich these motherfuckers is? That's what we finna react to. How how rich is Floyd versus LeBron James? Who is the better rich nigga? You feel me? That's what we basically looking at. Cause we already know what will happen if Floyd try to play basketball against LeBron, and if LeBron hopped in the ring, it ain't gonna go well for either one of them. But money wise, they could go. They they could go bar. They, they could go back to back with the money for sure. Besides being considered two of the richest athletes in the world, Floyd Mayweather and LeBron James are powerful men who have amassed immense fortunes throughout their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Floyd Mayweather and LeBron James. So let's fight. For Watches. Both moguls like to look stylish at all times, but who has the most impressive watch collection? Nice. LeBron James, for example, has high-end watches such as a Rolex Yacht Master 2 worth $25,000. Yeah, a Rolex Date ain't worth $50,000. A Patek Philippe Nautilus worth $100,000. An Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak. Now that bitch is clean with the Black Panther. I ain't gonna cap to you. Now that's that that's like unique, but I ain't gonna cap. The gold one, the gold one was the best looking one, that gold and black one. Concept Black Panther worth one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. One hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That should look like a payless motherfucker. The thing that you get at like the little payless at Walmart or some shit. Like I want, I, I want. Oh, it's an AP. That's why. Okay. Yeah, but no, no. That shit, that shit look look like a Walmart ass watch. Talking about one hundred and sixty, a kid's watch at that. A Royal Oak Concept Black Panther worth one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. A Patek yeah. Philippe sixty one oh two are worth three hundred. That shit is clean. That shit is clean for sure. They got the little what the fuck that shit is. That yin and yang, nigga. That's life and death right there. Hundred thousand dollars. A Richard Mill RM eleven zero three worth four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That look like an old ass motherfucking trailer. What the fuck? That shit ugly as hell if you ask me. A Richard Mill RM eleven zero three Jean Tote worth six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, all them bitches low key ugly, bro. With that shit in the end, man, they're gonna be like, man, you don't understand style. It's because your ass can't tell time. This because this is down the third. Come here, come here, folks. Look at this shit. You tell me this shit look hard. You could tell me with a straight face that shit look hard. You would spend thousands of dollars on this fucking shit. Hell no. And even a watch made exclusively for him. We are talking about an Audemar Pichuet Royal Oak Offshore LeBron James that can be found for around $100,000. Damn. Floyd Mayweather, for his part, has a jewelry collection capable of impressing anyone, such as $340,000 diamond and emerald Rolex Submariner, $350,000 Patek Philippe Ruby Bezel, $570,000 Richard Mill 59-01, $575,000. Hey, I think Floyd going to take it with the watches. From what we looking at right now. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd got the better watches, in my opinion. Let's let's keep going. Dollar Hublet MP05 Sapphire La Ferrari. One million dollar Jacob and Co. Royal. One million one hundred and forty thousand. Fuck is that? Now I was saying that's not even a watch, bro. I mean, wait, oh, the time is up in it. Damn, that shit is kind of cool, but hell no, foe. For how much? One. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That weak ass watch. Now nah, that do look complex as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like a nigga put time and energy in that ugly motherfucker. Thousand dollar Odemar Pichue Royal Oak self winding. Two million dollar Jacob and Co Rainbow Turbillion. 
but nothing compares to his watch. Known as the Jacob & Co Billionaire one of the most exclusive and expensive watches in the world. It is a work of art made with 260 karat diamonds that reflect a lot of brilliance. The stunning 18K white gold bracelet is fully handset with 504 emerald cut white diamonds. And to own one of the most requested watches in the world, Floyd Mayweather had to fork out about $18 million. And for owning Damn, that shit is much more expensive watches, Floyd Mayweather wins this round. Point for See, I, I said Floyd won anyway. He, he thought Floyd won too. At least we on the same page with this shit, you feel me? Him. Aircraft. Both stars love to travel in modern aircraft, but which of them has the most valuable jet? LeBron James, for example, has Floyd a Gulfstream G280 jet, a very modern twin-engine executive aircraft. The interior is very luxurious, with two seating areas capable of carrying up to 10 passengers with a lot of comfort. Now that bitch look like some back to the future ass shit. I ain't gonna fly as cheap. But I honestly think Floyd gonna take it with the with, with the with the planes. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm I'm gonna say my opinion before to I like, can make it a little bit better and see if my opinion is right. But I don't think Floyd win with the planes too. For and perhaps one of the reasons the basketball star clean. opts for modern jets that is that he has already suffered a huge scare when another aircraft he was using had to make an emergency landing. But luckily, everything went well. Shit, that shit would have made me not want to do that shit no more. Talk about the last aircraft. Yeah, that's enough for me. Be like, yeah, that's Jesus telling me you don't need to be flying no more. You feel me? I ain't going to capture you. I would have been like road trips everywhere. And to have this jet of his at his disposal, the athlete had. Oh, but that shit would be crazy as hell. LeBron James taking a road trip everywhere. Nah, I mean, niggas gonna be following him. <laughs> had to invest a lot of money. According to some sources, James' aircraft is valued at approximately $22 million. Floyd Damn. Mayweather, for his part, has a Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest flying range aircraft available. With a flying range of over 8,000 miles, Floyd can travel to different continents without the- Damn, 8,000 miles? With a flying range of 8,000 miles. That shit crazy. Because you got to think about it, that shit is a lot. Because cars can only hold up to like what? The most like, what, 400,000 400, miles? I think trucks probably have more and shit. But damn, that's a lot. The need to stop for fuel. I mean, that shit do make sense, though, because they flying like thousands of miles. Okay, yeah, it do make sense. I kind of sound slow as hell now, didn't I? Yeah, I know. The interior of the plane is luxuriously finished and can carry up to 18 people with great ergonomics, which you can see from the pictures posted by the fighter on his social networks. Mayweather has even posted moments where he relaxes while enjoying a good massage from a beautiful woman. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly think from the insides of it, I'm fucking with LeBron James inside. But it seemed like Floyd got more versatility with his insides. The fighter also seems to enjoy playing poker with his friends. And by the amount of money they put on the table, the game must have been worth a lot of money. And my homie, my homie was hanging around Floyd because he cool with this uh, camera. I don't know how the fuck he got around Floyd. But that nigga really lived like that. He said, nigga, if you be around Floyd, you just going to get money just for being around that nigga. Like, he one of those type of niggas that like to pay for everything. He just feel like that nigga, like, I like guess, paying for shit. Like, that's what he like to do. And to own such a luxurious and modern jet, Floyd Mayweather had to invest a real fortune. To have an idea of the price, a new aircraft of this model can cost more than $70 million. Damn. In other words, Floyd easily wins this round. You see, Floyd win again. I ain't going to cap to you, but I, I ain't going to cap. Floyd is more, I feel Floyd Mayweather is damn near more of a businessman than LeBron James. That That's what I think, because Floyd is actually, even though Floyd can't read, he know how to make money. That That's why... That's why you got to put the money at the, before the Mayweather. Most expensive mansion. Both athletes love to invest their fortunes in large mansions to live in. LeBron James might take it for the win for the houses. 
he might. But who has the most luxurious property? Floyd Mayweather, for example, doesn't skimp on real estate. The fighter has a luxurious mansion in Beverly Hills, capable of impressing anyone for all its grandeur. Once inside, we can see that everything is very sophisticated and made of top quality materials. All the fireplaces in the rooms, for example, are impressive, something Floyd himself made a point of sharing that in a video posted on his Instagram. That shit is clean, nigga. Man, I just want to come in that bitch just to motherfucking smoke a blunt, bro. I will feel like that guy, bro. I ain't going to cap to you. Just let me smoke a blunt in your crib, Floyd. Another very interesting point that stands out inside is the wine cellar, which is located on a huge wall, where the fighter has also made a point of sharing with his followers moments in which he selects and enjoys good wines. According to real estate records, the property has about 15,000 square feet of floor space, divided into six huge bedrooms and 10 luxurious bathrooms. 15 feet, 15,000. I'm doing the map like I actually know the map. Get my goof ass off, bro. I don't even know what the fuck I even could have say. I was just trying to say some shit. Rooms, some of which have a bathtub to enjoy the beautiful view. And of course, the house also has a gym for the fighter to keep himself conditioned. My homie was in, actually in the crib. I remember because I'm like, some of this shit low-key look familiar. My homie, I'm telling you, my homie was hanging around Florida ass, and I was looking at his story. I'm like, damn, this nigga really around this nigga. I ain't text him though. I was like, damn, for he low key raw as hell for being around Floyd. But you know, I ain't no dick eating ass nigga, bro. I ain't gonna say no shit like that to a nigga. But I'm like, damn, his ass really around Floyd Money Mayweather. The outdoor area is another place. Damn, that pool don't look as good as Drake Pool. Cause I the last video on Drake Pool, that shit was amazing that draws a lot of attention for its architecture with a swimming pool in the center surrounded by a black and white striped floor, which creates a charming and unique environment. You see, that ain't shit. That ain't shit compared to Drake pool, bro. And, and, and now I'm, I sound like a hater because it's like, nigga, you don't even got a pool. So shut the fuck up. I know I don't got a pool, so I can't judge nobody pool, but I'm going to judge somebody pool, niggas. And I just feel this is not even about Drake. Why the fuck am I even talking about Drake? Y'all right. No one I ever seen shit at the lab, but I'm used to motherfucking that shit being at zero. But now it's people in. But it is down the basement stairs that we find something surprising. There is a huge movie theater equipped with several treats to please the fighter and his guests. Even in an Instagram video. Damn, that shit crazy, folks. Because cause I be wanting candy and shit, but that shit go out too fast, bro. That shit be gone like that. Floyd got so much shit, he probably got everything stocks built up on that shit, so he can eat it whenever he want, bro. Like, I ain't gonna cap to you. I just finished my motherfucking... The gushers go within, like, a couple of hours. Shit, really a couple of minutes sometimes. Fruit snacks, them bitches going fast. I, I need to get money so I can have... I can stock up on them bitches. Yo, Floyd Mayweather shared with his followers this unusual part of his house, where he wrote in the description of the post that the place can comfortably accommodate 50 people. And to acquire this gigantic... 50 people inside this motherfucking crib? Shit. My mama and them came over for my motherfucking birthday to my house. Shit. Six people? Seven people? That shit can start to feel too much. 50 people? That shit would be over with in my crib property it's no surprise that it must have cost a pretty penny an estimated 25 million dollars lebron james for his part owns a beautiful 2.5 acre property that is located in beverly hills in california the huge residence of the player can offer all the luxury and refinement one can imagine possessing its facilities and environments such as no, tennis court surrounded by green areas a round swimming pool with a trampoline now his pool is better his pool is better for sure. Besides a cinema room that he seems to like a lot. And to add this property to his real estate portfolio, it was necessary to spend a real fortune. According to media reports, in 2020 he needed to invest about $36.8 million. Damn. Considering the value of real estate, LeBron James wins this round. Point. I, I knew it. And, and the thing is, I didn't watch it. Y'all know I didn't watch none of these videos. Guessed it, bro. I just, I, I got an intuition, bro. I got an intuition.
that's how my intuition is. I'm gonna be richer than both of these niggas. They like, ah, right, now you pushing it, bro. Shut your goof ass. All right, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Damn. Like for the player. Cars. Floyd, Floyd take the me. two tycoons are passionate about luxury vehicles, but who owns the most expensive cars? Le Floyd. LeBron James, for example, has owned the following vehicles. A Chevy Camaro oh, worth $50,000. Hell no. Sample has owned the following. Well, that's a fucking Kia, bro. Fuck is they sure the Kia is at the motherfucking... When we talking about LeBron James and motherfucking Floyd Mayweather, he and Shelby be inside the fucking frame. I ain't going to capture you, bro. Actually, I, them niggas on my level, because I drive a K5. I drive a K5, you feel me? K5 GT. Woo. LeBron James and them like he is just like me. We on the same boat. Following vehicles, a Chevy Camaro worth $50,000. A Chevy Impala 1975 valued at $55,000. A Dodge Challenger SRT worth $60,000. A Kia K900 also worth $60,000. Oh, he did get a Kia. He got a Kia. Oh, he, 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 he fucking with the Kia. He got the Kia K9. And I got the K5. You feel that, that, That's the motion shit. You see, I'm going to make a video. Say all, all the Kia haters that be talking about my Kia, I'm gonna be like, fuck y'all. LeBron James drive a Kia. He bought him a Kia. Get off my tip. Fuck are y'all talking about hating on my Kia. Oh, the Kia boys gonna get your shit. No, it's not my shit to push the star. Fucking goofy shit. But LeBron James got a Kia, so y'all can't say shit about my Kia no more. It's a motion car. A Hummer like, H2 worth $70,000. A Mercedes Maybach S600 worth $185,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S worth $200,000. A Bentley Continental GT worth $250,000. Man, that, the, the Bentley's always reminded me of the alien for Lilo and Stitch with the multiple eyes, the big nigga. That's what the Bentley always looked like to me in the motherfucking face. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it. Thousand dollars. A Ferrari 458 Spider of worth two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. A Ferrari 599 convertible worth three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't know. LeBron, LeBron got that shit. LeBron got that shit, and I knew that he was gonna have that shit. But I just feel Floyd might have that shit more. A Mercedes Benz Maybach 57S worth three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. A Rolls Royce Phantom worth four hundred thousand dollars. And the most expensive and famous of all, his custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. It is a sports yeah, that, supercar capable that, of reaching impressive speeds, being among the... Yeah, that shit nice, but like I said, I got that shit in my GTA garage right now. If I turn on my PlayStation, bro, you will see my shit. My shit look better than LeBron's. Standing on business. Fastest cars in the world. The vehicle has a 770 horsepower engine that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 2.8 seconds, Damn. reaching a top speed of 220 miles. You see, you're going that fast, bro. It's over with. Like I said, bro, if you're going that fast, if you're going that motherfucking fast, bro, you, you, you're you not going to the hospital if you crash, bro. You're going straight to heaven, bro. Don't think you're going to be driving top speed and these type of cars and crash and going to the hospital. No, you're going straight to heaven. Per hour. And to acquire this super machine, it may be necessary to cash out the smallest price of $500,000. Meanwhile, Floyd Mayweather has a stuffed garage owning vehicles such as $155,000 Mercedes G63, $160,000 Mercedes Maybach GLA. I ain't gonna cap to you. I'm gonna keep it behind that bitch. Like, that bitch look a little bit ugly, bro. I ain't gonna, I'm not even finna flash you. This shit right here, it do look a little bit ugly to me. Last, $200,000 Bentley Flying Spur. $205,000 Bentley Continental GT Moliner. $215,000 Ferrari Portofino. $220,000 Mercedes Benz SLS AMG. $225,000 Lamborghini Urus, $240,000 Ferrari 458 Italia, $250,000 Bentley Arnage T, $260,000 Ferrari GT.
All this nigga shit is not the two. He just said two hundred, two, 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 two. All his shit is damn near two hundred thousand plus. What the fuck? Am I doing wrong? It's the question. What the fuck am I doing wrong, bro? He see for Luso. $280,000 McLaren 650S, $310,000 Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, $340,000 Rolls Royce Wraith. Damn, nigga, we just want to keep like, damn, bro. Can you say the cars for me when I get famous, bro? Can you say it's the cars for me when I get famous, Floyd? Damn, bro, you buying everything. $350,000 Rolls Royce Cullinan. Three hundred and sixty thousand dollar Rolls Royce. What the bitch, nigga, these are the same cars. What the fuck did you mean? This, this nigga made got the same fucking cars. Oh, okay, I see the difference. This light is different than this light. This light is different than this light, and the grills is a little bit different. Fuck out of here, bro. Hell no. Getting one of these bitches. And on to the next. I don't need three of these ugly motherfuckers right here, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. These ugly to me, bro. I mean, they do look nice. I ain't gonna flowers like they ugly. But yeah, bro. This one, this one ugly as hell. Right here. This one ugly to me. <laughs> that be ugly. Don. $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador. $460,000 Rolls Royce Phantom. $2 million Bugatti Veyron. Three point five million dollar boot. He won. He won, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Two cars ago, Floyd won. I ain't gonna cap to you. Shit, that nigga won with the cars. Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, and even an incredible Ferrari Enzo, a car that is rare to find and is considered a kind of collectible among car lovers. And maybe that is why its price can reach over four million dollars. Damn. But without a doubt, the fighter's most expensive car is his Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, a supercar considered to be a real diamond on wheels. Because it is built entirely out of white carbon fiber, this made the vehicle very difficult and time-consuming to manufacture, which is why there are only two units in the whole world. Two of them made, bro. Bro, I couldn't even get the limited edition Kia Stinger. The last, the last one, and they made a couple of them bitches, bro. For you to get the the, the second or first one of two cars that's made, bro, you gotta have money, bro. Getting any car and it's not too many of them left, it's gonna be money for sure. And this certainly helps to justify its impressive price of four point eight million dollars. <laughs> and for having the most luxurious vehicles, Floyd Mayweather wins oh, this round. I told you he Point for him. It ain't no beating him with the other, other properties. Both athletes don't skimp on their fortunes when it comes to real estate. But who hey. has the most valuable real estate portfolio? Floyd Mayweather, for example, owns several mansions. He has, for example, a palace to call his own. It is a huge mansion of almost 22,000 square feet located on 1.40 acres of land, more than enough space to house everything the fighter needs to live in comfort and luxury. The facade of the mansion has Greek-like architecture with huge rounded pillars that help create a mango cap. That bitch raw as hell. Like that shit, it looked like it's some motherfucking uh. Oh no, let me shut the fuck. Up. Superimposing look. In some of Floyd Mayweather's posts on his social networks, it was possible to get to know a little bit of his interior, where we can see that everything is also very luxurious. One thing that is quite evident is. What the fuck do this nigga got? You see, niggas get famous and then they wear shit like this, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? This every country, a nigga really got every country flag and put it together and thought that shit was gonna be hard. The shit that go through rich niggas head, like this shit is beyond me. This shit, this some shit that motherfucking, if you let a kid motherfucking be a clothes designer, Damn, yeah, make some shit like this, bro. What the fuck was going through his bald head ass head when he was doing this shit? Is that everything in this mansion is grandiose. The fighter's closet, for example, is almost the size of a clothing store. Wow. But one of the points that most caught his attention was the incredibly- A indoor pool. Nigga, bro. If I have an indoor pool, do you know how many bitches I'm- 
bro, all the females come into my crib every day, bro. I'm going to have to tell them, sweetheart, one, five females at a time, five females at a time. That That's the power of a pool. I'm telling you, when I get a pool, it's, it's going to be different. Y'all going to look back at this old video of me talking about when I get me a pool. When I'm walking around with a robe and shit 24-7, out in public and all, I'm having a robe because I got a pool, nigga. He covered and heated swimming pool with several televisions so he can watch his movies while he relaxes in the water. Outside the house, there is a beautiful- God damn, oh man, God damn, what the fuck, ooh. Boy, this shit look like a motherfucking Capitol building. This shit look like a Capitol building. I'm not gonna cap to you. Beautiful garden with a fountain in the middle, something that is very common in cast. Damn, my slow ass thought that was a pool. You see, I ain't gonna cap to you. Let me be rich, that shit still gonna be a pool, bro. I'm hopping, anything I'm on, I'm hopping in the body of water. And it is no wonder that according to some sources, Floyd needed to invest $10 million. Now, when Floyd Mayweather wants to enjoy the summer, he can enjoy his beautiful mansion in Miami Beach. This is a three-story oceanfront home on Palm Island, an artificial island in Biscayne Bay, one of the city's finest residential neighborhoods, where the fighter loves to have fun riding his scooter around. According to posts made by real estate agents, it was possible to see what the interior of the mansion looks like. The decoration is very clean, with a color palette of light tones, something that is often used in summer houses. Another point that draws attention to the property is the large window openings that exist. And because it is Floyd's mansion, it couldn't be without a super-equipped fitness center for him to maintain his excellent physical shape. In total, hey, bro. the property has Get off his fucking tip! Is about 10,800 square feet of built area, divided into 9 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. The outside area is undoubtedly one of the places that stands out the most and makes oh, this house so special. There is a swimming pool with a spectacular view of the sea and a pro 30 bitches inside that bitch. I can picture it, bro. Can't wait till I get a pill. 30 bitches in that bitch, bro. And they're gonna be naked. Private dock that can accommodate boats of up to 100 feet. And to acquire this imposing residence, some sources say that Floyd Mayweather had to fork out about $18 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a 32,000 square foot mansion in Ohio valued at around nine. Ohio. I mean, oh, yeah. Where, where Cleveland from? Cleveland, Ohio. OK, it's understandable because I was going to say Ohio, nigga. Ohio. Bro, get the fuck out of here. I don't care how much money you spend on that bitch, bro. That bitch is in Ohio. Point five million dollars, raising the price further. LeBron James once owned a beautiful lakefront mansion in Miami, in the state of Florida. The interior of the mansion has a color palette of light tones on the walls that matches the darker color of the wood. In all, the house has six spacious. Oh yeah, that that, that looks just like my crib. I got wood on the floor too, you know. Bedrooms and eight beautiful bathrooms, counting with a few treats, such as a cinema with comfortable armchairs and a bodybuilding gym. Outside, Damn. there is a luxurious pool that at night is surrounded by colored LED set. Man, bro, what? 150 bitches in that bitch, bro. Stop playing with me, folks. I'm gonna have that bitch overly turned up in that bitch, folks. Y'all don't want me to give me no house with a pool. You don't want me to get a house with a pool with LED lights. Soon as I get this bitch up Tonight, and running park. In addition to having a dock to store up to two yachts. And according to media reports, the basketball player has decided to sell the mansion in 2021 for about twelve million seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, folks, you couldn't wait till I you see niggas really be po bogus as hell, bro. Because he know I'm in this bitch making reaction videos and shit. So I could give me a house with a pool and shit. He couldn't, he couldn't wait to sell that bitch, put me, put me on like a little payment plan or some shit. Like, you know, I could pay, I could pay like, you know, 1300 a month type shit if he trying to, you know, work with a nigga. And we, and he could put me on like a, you know, like a, like a lease or some shit, you know, for 1300 a month. Thousand dollars going even more Boy, expensive. Slow. The NBA star also wants on a half acre estate in Los Angeles, California. 
Inside, the rooms are very spacious, with a total constructed area of about 9,500 square feet, divided into six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, all with jacuzzis. Outside, all the grass jacuzzi. is very All of them with jacuzzis. Damn, fo. I don't got no jacuzzis. That shit fucked up if you ask me. How the fuck y'all got no jacuzzis? Because I'm broke. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Green, and there is a large Olympic swimming pool. Damn, bro. That bit. Oh, man. I'm going to have to have baby mamas and aunties start coming over to my crib with all this stuff. Because I'm going to have all the females my age are already up in this bitch, bro. Grandmas, aunties, and mamas now. That's, that's what I'm going to have to do with this crib. Pool with a wooden deck. And according to media reports, the player purchased the house in 2015 paying $21 million, but decided to sell it in 2021 at a loss of $19,600,000. Damn, for a loss. You see, if you was going to take a loss, nigga, you could have sold that shit to me real deal, bro. I'm going to contact LeBron James after this video and say, yo ass is a tweaker, folks. Fuck is you talking about, shorty? I got a good 1300 waiting for you every month. Nigga, that, that shit don't pay its light bill. <laughs> That's crazy. Still in California, yes, LeBron I'm James good, owns another property located on one of the most noble streets of Los Angeles. The interior of the residence is quite sophisticated, being oh. built with top-of-the-line materials. The kitchen, for example, features natural French oak and marble countertops from crazy. Spain. In to crazy. total property is about 9,500 square feet, being divided into eight bedrooms and 11 luxurious See, look at that. Look, look, look at that shit right there. That, 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 the contrasting of the, the black and the white with the stainless steel. I'm, I'm just saying shit. It's marble covered bathrooms. In addition, the mansion also offers other spoils for the player, such as a game room, a complete gym, and a cinema. And to acquire this beautiful mansion. You see, my dogs would love this shit, bro. Like, if my dogs had this, bro. They would be shitting for days. Like, they would just want to go shit at this bitch just because they like to shit on shit that look nice. Like, if the grass look nice, they want to shit on it. Like, yeah, this our shit. The player needed to disperse in 2017 about $23 million. And Damn. for having the most impressive real estate portfolio, LeBron James wins this round. Uh, I don't know. I don't know with that one. I, I try to say it's a tie. I feel like you can't really you can't really say LeBron beat Floyd with the other halves. Because Floyd has some shit, but LeBron, no, nah, LeBron James did have them long had all them long ass pools to the shit that the now nah, LeBron James might win now I'm thinking about it on it. He did probably win that one. Point for him. Or it's a tie. Or it's a tie. Business. Oh, Floyd. Floyd winning business. Y'all don't know. Floyd has got 30 strip clubs in Las Vegas, bro, with your bitch probably stripping up in it, bro. That's what y'all don't know. Folks got motion for sure. Both athletes are also successful businessmen. But who has the most lucrative businesses? Floyd Mayweather, for example, founded Mayweather Promotions in 2007, a production company that manages his and several other athletes' sporting events. Still in the boxing world, he founded Mayweather Boxing Fitness, one of the fastest girl fitness franchises in the world. Being passionate about cars, Floyd also owns TMT Racing, an American professional stock car racing team. Floyd also owns the Girl Collection, one of the most luxurious adult clubs in Las Vegas. The venture seems to be so successful that the official Instagram alone has almost 400,000 followers. That's because they begin the bad bitches up in that bitch. You get the bad bitches and, and look nice. You're going to have niggas come in that bitch. I ain't going to cap to you. Might start a little club up. The only thing you got to do is have bitches. Then them hornball niggas coming. In the same city, he also owns a roller skating rink known as Skate Rock City. One of his most recent business ventures is in the company Floyd NFT, which sells virtual arts that give access to various benefits. And it is all also speculated that the fighter has large investments in stock market shares. LeBron James, for his part, has investments in the gastronomic sector, owning 19 franchises of the Blaze Pizza chain of pizzerias. 
He is also a partner in Beats Electronics, a headphone and audio equipment company owned by Apple. However, in the world of sports, he has stakes in Liverpool, one of England's biggest football teams. LeBron James is also a partner in Ladder, a sports supplementation company created in partnership with other celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he even owns a film production company, having founded Spring Hill Company, a company that produced and released in 2021 his new film called Space Jam, A New Legacy. This is all without counting all the money he receives from being a poster boy for... I, I don't think he could beat, beat Floyd with the motion shit, though. ...various famous companies. To get an idea of how well-known LeBron James is in the media, he is by far the most famous basketball player on social networks. I ain't gonna cap to you commercial-wise, but why the fuck my shit tweaking? Commercial-wise, LeBron James got it for sure. I ain't gonna cap to you because his ass is getting paid more than Floyd for a commercial. Having, for example, more than 150 million followers on his Instagram alone. And it is for all this fame that he has been featured in campaigns for brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Sprite, among many others. But without a doubt, his biggest contract is with Nike, a company with which he signed a lifetime contract, guaranteeing him a multi-million dollar salary for the rest of his life. And because we damn for the rest of his life, that shit crazy. Don't know the profit of each business. We'll consider this round a draw. Points for both. Net worth. As two great athletes, there's no doubt that they've amassed huge fortunes over the course of their respective careers. But who will be the richest? Starting with LeBron James. He is the highest paid basketball player in the world for the eighth consecutive year, as well as being named the fifth highest earning athlete of all sports in the year of 2020. As a Los Angeles Lakers player alone, receives a super salary of $41,200,000. You see... But you see, he I really want to be a boxer because a boxer, you can smoke and shit. You don't got to worry about them motherfuckers. With, they be drug testing you and shit. And maybe I can't deal with that. That money ain't worth me not smoking. They shut your junky ass up. I'm, I'm sorry. Dollars. Fuck and while it's a huge amount, it's still far from being his biggest oh, source people. of income. That's because it's estimated he probably makes more than $70 million off the court, mainly from his advertising contracts. To get an idea, in just his lifetime contract with Nike alone, he receives approximately $30 million per year. And $30 million a year just for, and that's a lifetime guarantee. The nigga is straight for life. He don't even got to play basketball no more. LeBron just want to. Extra money. He doing this shit because he love this shit. It's no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, the NBA star currently has a net worth of over $1 billion. Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, is considered the fifth highest paid athlete of all time. And one of the most impressive things about Floyd's earnings statistics is that he has managed to make a lot of money even without hardly any advertising for big companies. Most of his fortune came from his entrepreneurial side and his enormous media potential. That's why I would say Floyd know how to make the money that he making is like on his own. Even though LeBron, he making it on his own. But Floyd, you you get what I'm trying to say. Floyd Mayweather is a true showman. He can attract the interest of millions of people willing to pay to watch his fights. To get an idea of how much money he earned in each event, just for his fight with boxer Manny Pacquiao, it is estimated that Floyd Mayweather received an amount of $250 million. But crazy. nothing beats his fight against Irishman Conor McGregor, which was dubbed the money fight. The fight was considered to be one of the most lucrative of all time, which is estimated to have earned Floyd an estimated $300 million. Damn. And it's no wonder that he has been at the top of Forbes magazine several times as the highest paid athlete of the year. And adding up all the money he has received during his career, some sources estimate his fortune to be around $450 million. But he has already said that it has been a few years since he became a billionaire and that his current net worth is approximately $1.2 billion. As there's no certainty about the real value of Floyd Mayweather's fortune, we'll consider the round a draw. Points for both. At the end of this fight, we have four points for LeBron James against five points for Floyd Mayweather, making him the winner of this battle. Yeah, I can give it to Floyd. I think Floyd lived a more extravagant life than LeBron. But I feel that's because LeBron don't want to. You feel me? Floyd more of a flashy motherfucker. But shout out to all of about, man. Link to the original video will be in the description, man. You feel me? 
And we finna end the live today. And I'm gonna hop back on live for literally once my laptop charge up. Cause it's grind time, baby. You feel me? So I'm finna be back in about like 30 minutes or something.